Hello guys, today I want to talk about Laravel migrations and one case scenario which I've encountered multiple times. What happens if the migration succeeds but one of the foreign keys fails? And this is a tricky situation where migration is half successful and how to fix that, whether to create a new migration or edit the existing one and what to do with the database. Let's take a look. So imagine the scenario, you have two migration files, create a posts table, which is fine. And then the next migration is post comments with foreign ID to post ID to posts table. And for whatever reason, this foreign ID fails. For example, when you mistype the field name or the field name doesn't match the table name. So it should be post ID if it's constrained, but you, for example, do something like this. And then if you run those migrations, you get into this. So post table is successful, but post comments cannot add foreign key constraint because it's looking for a block post table, which doesn't exist. And you thought, okay, I've mistyped the field name. Let's change it and run the migration again. And now look what happens. PHP artisan migrate. There is another error table post comments already exists. So in fact, that migration runs in two separate steps, two transactions. First, it creates the table and then it creates all the foreign keys. So in our case, the table was created, but the foreign key wasn't created. And the worst part is that migration wasn't registered as a successful migration. In the database table called migrations, all the migrations are registered, which are successful. And here we don't see the migration of post comments. So somehow we need to rerun that migration but with the table already existing, but run foreign key as a separate thing. And there are a few ways how to deal with that. First, if you have access to the database, if it's your local database, you can just delete that table, post comments, delete the table manually, and then run that again. And it will succeed and it will create post comments. So it will run create table again and create foreign key again, which will succeed. But quite often we don't have the access to the database or it's quite a bad practice to touch the database manually if you run the migrations. So let's launch that again. Let's get back to the same situation. And another way to deal with that is to edit that migration, but not in this way, but to separate those. Schema create the table and then schema table like this. So in here we need only foreign ID. And in here we will check if not schema has table post comments like this. So it will run only if the table doesn't exist and we don't need foreign key here. So see what happens if database doesn't have post comments, it will create, but in our case it does have, so it will not be launched. And this statement will be run anyway. And let's try it out. PHP artisan migrate and it is successful. And also I want to show you quickly another scenario. What if you forget to create a parent table and you're creating foreign ID, foreign key to non-existing table, and then you need to create that table, but kind of in the past. Let me show you what I mean. So you have the migration post comments to post table, but that post table doesn't exist and you forgot to create that. So you run that migration. Of course it fails because there's no post table and you go, oh, okay, then I need to create that table. So you go PHP artisan, make migration, create posts table, but it automatically is created with a timestamp after the post comment. So you still don't get the result. So how to move that migration to be upper than this? In fact, you can rename the migration file just by renaming the file here, doing timestamp a little earlier, and then that migration will be called earlier. So now if we do migrate fresh, for example, then it should succeed because post table is earlier than post comment table. One thing, if you're playing around with renaming migration files manually, remember that this file name create post table should be the same as create posts table here. So if, for example, you rename the migration refactor rename to, I don't know, post table, for example, and this will be different from the class name, then it will fail with create post table not found. So Laravel is trying to find a class which corresponds to the same name as the migration file, just with camel case. So the solution would be to rename this as well, and then it will succeed. 
So these are quick tips how to deal with migrations if you run into a problem of migration half successful. And if you want to get more videos like this one on Laravel and related topics, subscribe to the channel and also support financially by doing one of two things, using our Laravel quick admin panel generator for admin panels or enroll in one of my courses at laraveldaily.teachable.com. See you guys on other videos.